we are in the course page. What I show you may not be your exact class. Things may look a bit different or be in different locations. But this tutorial will give you an idea of how I do things. Get comfortable, click around, see where each of the links go, pause the video at any time to try out a link or button. There are three sections of the current layout that I want to point out today. I'll show you the breadcrumbs across the top, the left and right columns. Let's start with the left column. It has tools that appear in every course and tools that I've added specifically for this class. In the first block, participant pictures will appear once you've added a picture to your profile. Now I'm the only person enrolled in the course. You can click on anyone's picture to see their profile. In the next block is navigation. It expands and contracts using arrows next to each category. It's a great way to get around to specific pages in the course. This block appears on every page in the course, so it's always easy to get back to the front page by clicking on the words Educational Technology. You can click the arrows so that they are facing to the right to squish up the navigation block in case it's in your way. The administration block gives you access to your grades and your profile. The next four blocks, upcoming events, recent activity, the dashboard, and search may be useful to you. Or you may want to keep them minimized so they don't take up space. To completely squish up any of these blocks on the left, click on the minus sign. Then clicking on the plus sign will get them back again. The next two blocks I've added. In our blogs and links block, I give you links to tools that we will use outside of Moodle. The orange ones are already linked. Feel free to check them out. Once you've created your blog, don't worry about that yet. I will link it to the list so that others can easily find it. The last block here, though it might appear somewhere nearer to the top in your course, is a techno tip. I will post tools and ideas that come up in discussions or that I'm using in the course. Let's turn to the larger right column. That's where most of the action will happen. The top block, everything that appears above the horizontal line, is sometimes called the course overview. You'll find information here that will help you throughout the course. As you familiarize yourself with the icons, you'll notice that the first three icons below this video are speech bubbles. They indicate that the three items are discussion forums. Click on them to read the description of each. Beyond that is a notebook icon. That represents the glossary tool. You'll notice that there are only a couple of words in the glossary at the moment. We'll be building our glossary of educational terms together. One of the cool features of the glossary is that words that are in the glossary are linked in other parts of Moodle. For instance, if I click the word forum here, the glossary entry pops up. When you click on the course-wide resources, you'll find the syllabus and tips that will help you get started. The next block is the first of our course modules. That is everything you need to do for the coming week. I will open the modules as we get to them one at a time. In each module, you'll find some brief descriptive information and then an assignments document that together will explain what to do for the next week. The other icons are for readings, forums, and other resources you might need. The last block that I show you here, Jane's Depository, will always be the last block. It's something I use to put resources in that are linked elsewhere. You can completely ignore it. Anything that's here that you need will appear in the module when you need it. Finally, I direct your attention to the breadcrumbs. You've noticed that sometimes I've used the links across the top to return to the front page of the course. The breadcrumbs, as in Hansel and Gretel, show you the path you've taken and offer another way to find your way home. 
you can use either the navigation tools in the left column, the breadcrumbs, or, of course, your back button. So there's a lot to do this first week. Jump in. Don't hesitate to ask for help using the help forum or by contacting me directly. See you online.